The state of emergency is now in effect in the once peaceful nation of Ecuador. Yesterday, in a brazen move, dozens of mass gang members stormed a TV station, taking anchors and staff members hostage. Ecuador has become a haven for the cocaine trade, and the drug gangs now rule the streets there. International correspondent Mary Trina Mena reports on how the scary situation ended. The images of TC television's facilities taken over by a group of hooded men who threatened the cameraman and the rest of the production team with firearms during a live transmission are likely to remain in Ecuadorians' minds for some time to come. During the last few months, the country has experienced an increase in violence due to the advance of criminal groups. President Daniel Novoa, facing his first crisis since assuming power in November, has declared an internal armed conflict, ordering the armed forces to take military action within international humanitarian law. He has designated 22 transnational organized crime groups as terrorist organizations. In response to the heightened violence, Ecuador's schools have suspended in-person classes nationwide until January 12th. Peruvian police have reinforced the country's border with Ecuador. The Ecuadorian prosecutor's office says it will prosecute the 13 people who were detained for the armed assault on the TC television channel on terrorism charges. According to the Ecuadorian penal code, sentences can range from 10 to 13 years in prison. Security forces in Ecuador say they intended to regain control of the penitentiaries and reduce the high levels of violence that exist in the country. Maritrini Mena, Scripps News, Caracas.